Okay, hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. The more the more loud you guys go, the more loud I can go. Okay? Yeah. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> oh. So this is how it started. Okay, that was a very big introduction. Thank you so much, brother. But then the India's first flute box said everything came up. But then let's look back on how all of this started. How did all s just get a kick off? Okay, when I just walked into a college fest. Saw a guy beatboxing on the stage, and all the girls and the boys were like, "Woo!" <laughs> and then I was like, uh, "Okay, what? That's something unique. That's because the everyone's shouting because he's doing something different." So I came back home, went online and searched a lot of videos about beatboxing. Did a lot of homework. Took a couple of months to get myself mastered as a beatboxer. And after saying about six months, I figured out that I am a good beatboxer, and all I need is a stage now. So I went up to a stage that time. And you know how the beatboxing sounded? It goes like, say, the show starts in three, two, one, go, say. You guys like that? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so I I'm not here to beatbox all the Western beats and techno and dubstep, but then I'm going to show something in our own style that is an Indian style. So I thought we could start with the north of India, some Bangra in the house. It goes like Sith. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the next stop after uh, the north of India, I stopped somewhere in Mumbai. I met this hot lady who's called Sheila. I'm sure everyone knows the song Sheila Ki Jawani. Yeah? The beat of Sheila Ki Jawani goes like, say, what's my name? What's my name? What's my name? My name is... Okay, so everything went great then. Next stop after Mumbai, coming down straight to South India. Okay, Macha Machi or proper local Tapang. Yeah? Macha Machi, whistle already, ah? It's a summer local, Arra Machi. You guys like that? <laughs> Great. So this was my first uh, beatboxing act in a college competition. So I thought I'm really good and I got amazing response like how you guys also gave right now. And I thought I have to take this to the next level. So what I did was I went up to all the comp college competitions, all the beatboxing championships possible, won a lot of uh, beatboxing competition on a row, and then did not look back. But then uh, when I was spreading this art all over the city, and uh, this was getting a little common, and then they, after say in about two years, they called me to judge the same old, the same competition. So the place where I stepped in as a participant or to ask for a filler act in a college, the same college invited me to judge the beatboxing. So that was something big for me. So at that time when I was judging the event, I saw the participant beatboxing and I was here sitting here. There was not much difference between me and that guy. Okay? So this just flashed a small uh, idea in my mind. I came back home and I was like, why am I judging him? He's also beatboxing, I'm also beatboxing. I'm not talking about the level of performance, I'm talking about the art. So I was like, uh, listen, I need to be something unique. I need to stand out of the box from all the beatboxers in the town. Every beatboxer in Bangalore wanted to make his name inside Bangalore, but then I thought a little out of the box. I wanted to make my name in the whole of the country. I wanted the whole of India to know that I'm a beatboxer. So to take that to the next level, I came up with a new act, came back home, I did a lot of uh, homework. I wanted to be a little more innovative with adding an instrument to my beatboxing. So that is when flute boxing emerged. So the flute boxing sounded like, one sec.
Okay, so I thought I'll have to play a little more uh, different in flute boxing. So I thought I could increase my tempo, play a little bit of fast music in my flute. So I call this a fast beat. It goes like. Well, when all of this uh, was going on a good run, I, th I just realized that uh, this instrument is known for its melody. So I wanted to play something in a very sweet melody and beatbox along with that. So I chose uh, a very nice tone composed by A.R. Rahman, uh, the Airtel tune. And I wanted to add my beatboxing to that. So together goes like. <laughs> I was not that very happy with this western beat and our Ray Araman's tune. So I took our own style, some tapang and I airtel tune together. It goes like say. Okay, so I thought we could uh, finish off with this flute boxing act with uh, one favorite music of mine. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know what to tell, you recognize which song it is. Did you guys enjoy that? Yes? Did you guys enjoy that? Yes? Yeah. Great. So we're still on the deal. <laughs> okay, so, well, hold on. But then, I just want, I, I forgot to talk about flute boxing. How did flute boxing come into the scene? From a guy who did not know, even know what or how the flute is played? Okay, I did not know what or how the flute is played or how, which flute should be purchased for flute boxing. I just went on the internet and I saw someone doing flute boxing with a metal flute and I thought okay listen I even I need to do that okay I'm, but I have to do that in India so I went up to a music store a random music store walked in and I asked him listen give me a metal flute and uh, so and so code or whatever it is so that guy just gave me a metal flute I was very happy and excited to go home and play that but then before I could just build that I just had a note on that uh, the cost of it it was 54,000 and I hardly had 540 rupees in my pocket <laughs> I never knew, I just thought that it was big and it will be 500 rupees. <laughs> so then I was like, uh, I acted too cool. I did not want to make the shop guy realize that uh, this guy is not uh, you know, so rich to buy that flute and all. So I was like, uh, hey listen, um, do you guys uh, have any flute for like 500? <laughs> 40 rupees to saving still. But I was like, th he's like, uh, he gave me a dirty look. He's like, then why did you ask for a metal flute? And I was like, oh, I just want to see. 
that's all <laughs> still sh- give me a metal give me a flute for uh, 500 and then he gave me a broken wooden flute which was like uh, dusted out there in the music store he just gave me and then uh, you know I, i didn't give it up at that point of time uh, that point of time i d- uh, all that was flash in my mind was to come back home and do flute boxing not about which flute is being there though i did not uh, have money or could not afford for that metal flute i just picked up what was the best for me i came back home and then started to make all funny noises possible with that flute i annoyed my neighbors my parents everyone <laughs> my mom was like please please no <laughs> no the siren and all in factory they'll put you don't try flute boxing please and uh, i was like ma no this is happening day and night i practice i used to see a lot of videos in web different uh, websites or in uh, on internet and uh, see how these professionals play the flute how they use the fingering or how do they do everything so i just used to mimic them try to get the actual sound one fine day by some luck i just got off that sound and then i was like listen i need to master this so day by day i learned to write notes about my flute i learned how to make it more sound more uh, good and uh, mastered it day by day so one fine day i went on stage and that is what you just heard today so after this all kicked off uh, i got a call from a television channel uh, uh, india's biggest talent hunt platform he just told me what is that <laughs> okay so when i w- got a call from this uh, talent hunt competition it was like so big for me so a dream come true when i tried when i was in beatboxing and all they didn't give me they're like hey go when i did flute boxing they're like come come our stage platform wants you <laughs> so that time you know the judges uh, i also got a standing ovation uh, award saying superstar of the week by colors channel a lot of things came into scene when i went to the talent hunt competition and uh, moving ahead when i had to move into the competition to the semi finals i had to be a little more innovative i had to do something even more unique to impress the judges and all so that is when an act called harmonica beatboxing emerged so harmonica beatboxing sounded like uh, one minute Five, six, seven, go. I'm sure you guys liking that. Yes. Yes, you guys loved it, liked it. What is it? Loved it? <laughs> okay, great. So this is a this is the only thing that an artist expects on a stage. So when I started my career, I only wanted the crowd to shout for me. I told you in the beginning, right? So that is what is happening today. So what I did, I did not give up my passion even though I could not afford for something that I wanted to be innovative on. All I wanted to say is that one day when I went to n- internet and search saying Sudhir beatboxing nothing just turned up it just said related no, no related searches and i had to shut down the computer that day and i was like uh, n- no this is not nice the internet is not nice let like that and today when i go to google and type sudhir beatboxing I have two pages of information about me so that is something that i have achieved so far today my father stands proud in front of my house and says that listen i'm sudhir's dad I, i wanted that to happen i wanted my parents to stand proud of me i wanted to make everyone proud to have me on a stage so i did not give up my talent i used my talent i mastered it i became one of the best in it and then i wanted to be innovative used one factor that is a motivational factor to achieve something in life before you die and i used that i was a little innovative stood out of the box took risk to go on big stages and uh, 
all i wanted to say is that everyone here is talented i don't wa- i do not want to inspire you guys with my story or something like that you can inspire yourself that is what i believe in everyone is talented you have one factor that is unique in you find out what that unique is and make yourself proud and that is how today i'm standing in front of you guys as india's first flute boxer thank you so much for having me today